Hello everybody, I'm Richard Lee. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for St John Ambulance. Since the start of the coronavirus pandemic, our volunteer ambulance crews have operated across England, uh, providing non-emergency, urgent and emergency response capability uh, surge capacity to our NHS ambulance colleagues. Some of the calls that we attend are for people with less serious problems, but those that require a face-to-face -face assessment. They cannot be dealt with over the telephone through a hear and treat service, and they cannot require a paramedic ambulance. So our volunteer ambulance crews do a great job in managing this middle tier of work, um, a large number of which are older people who've fallen. Across the world, older people who've fallen are the number one reason for somebody to summon an emergency ambulance. But a number of these patients have not got a medical need or an injury. They have simply fallen and require assistance to get back on their feet and usually referral into a safety netting service such as a community falls team or other primary care based service. It's all about keeping people safe um, whilst also making sure that people don't end up in hospital with all the risks that come with going to hospital unless they really, really need to. It also means that emergency ambulances are free to go to emergencies where a paramedic ambulance crew can make a real difference to somebody in dire need. They can save a life whilst uh, a different type of resource is providing a tailored service to these patients who've fallen, who also have a specialist need, but uh, it's not as acute as somebody in a life-threatening emergency. But if it was your mum or your dad or your granddad or your grandma, you'd want them to be responded to in a timely manner and uh, treated with dignity and respect. And um, sometimes when patients wait for a long time on the floor, um, they're not always in the most dignified of circumstances. And sometimes waiting a long time, what's referred to as a long lie, can result in a medical emergency occurring. So our falls response offering at St John is designed to provide the fastest appropriate response to somebody who's fallen, to be able to safely assess that patient and make sure that they don't have a medical uh, need or an injury uh, that either caused or resulted from their fall, and then to get them back uh, to a standing or a sitting position um, with usually a cup of tea, uh, it's quite often part of the treatment process, and some dignity and get them back to living their life. Um, many of these patients are in care home settings. Uh, many of these calls are to residential complexes, but also to people in their own homes. Um, and in order to do this, we uh, provide our falls responders with uh, the eye stumble tool where they can safely assess a patient to make sure there is no medical complication to the fall and to make sure we're not gonna do the patient any damage by helping them from the floor. As attending to patients who's fallen is such a big part of our work at St John, we've made a decision to equip all of our ambulances with a manga lifting cushion. We use the elk version to make sure that our ambulance crews can safely and quickly get somebody off of the floor without causing any distress or injury to both the person who's fallen, but also making sure that our people are safe whilst undertaking this uh, vital manual handling task. 